Celebration Cruise Line is hoping to fill the void left in the wake of Discovery Cruise Lines from Grand Bahama one month ago. Celebration Cruise Line sets sail every other day on an overnight cruise to Freeport from Florida. As Shakara Russell tells us, operators are already boasting of improved business and a promising future. Bahama Celebration now calls Grand Bahama its second home. According to president of the Celebration Cruise Line, Charles Kinnear, the partnership between the Port of Palm Beach and Grand Bahama continues to grow. We bring as many as 500 people here during season, so three, four, five hundred people uh, staying on the island, staying in the hotels, uh, which I think is a, is a great benefit to the island. We are tied to the island. And the better the island does, the better we're going to do. So we're not going anywhere. We are here to make the growth happen here on the island. With the Discovery Cruise Line gone, the celebration is now focusing on providing a lifeline for residents while helping to boost its passenger load from the Palm Beach market. Change never comes easy, but uh, I think once people get used to it, they're going to find out that uh, it's a great way and that we will be, be providing that lifeline back over to the coast. Right now, you can do a round-trip cruise for $160. Uh, that's all-inclusive taxes, entertainment, food, and your cabin. Kinnear says Grand Bahamians are slowly taking advantage of the new route. He says Celebration Cruise Line is creating a niche in the crowded South Florida market and is trying to offer the best value in the industry. We are now sailing with about 20 to 30 residents every sailing. And I was on board last night and I took the opportunity to, to speak with some of them. They said it was a fantastic experience. One woman was telling me that she, she went out shopping car was full she had to go back to the port we were there to meet her put all her stuff in her bin she went back out got some more came back she made three trips back to the port to put everything in her bin nearly 700 feet long bahamas celebrations can hold up to 1500 passengers canair says the cruise vessel offers a top-notch cruise and shopping experience for residents shakara russell said in s news Looks pretty neat. Well, following the local government elections in June, James Pratt has been very busy in South Andros. Julian Gibson caught up with the new chief councillor this weekend. He discussed his plans to change things for the better in his district. Since being elected chief councillor, James Pratt is on a mission to improve the conditions in South Andros. We need to uh, help with this same function here, and we need to help with other areas and to fix the, um, to clean up the road and everything, Brother Julian. What projects uh, local government you guys have on the drawing board to improve uh, the infrastructure here in Andres and some other projects? We're looking at the, uh, at the uh, gymnasium and we're looking after a very uh, good gymnasium which will help us to keep these young people in order, Brother Julian. Pratt says that more attention needs to be paid to the physical structure of the South Andres High School. We are in trouble with this same school here. We need central government to come down urgent to fix some of these systems. The bathroom, when I, I checked them out, Brother Julian, they are not in good shape right now. And the road leading into our, uh, the Deep Creek, Brother Julian, and not only that, Brother Julian, we need central government to send us some funds that they will get every, uh, more things in order around here. According to James Pratt, he would like to see some improvements to the South Andres International Airport. I already write to the Minister of Aviation, asking him that the roof is leaking and everything like that, and I just put some bids together to send to them, and I'm waiting on a call by now and Tuesday that we will uh, fix the electrical, the plumbing, and lift the back and put on no roof that the terminal will be a number one uh, terminal. We call it international, but not international. When I look at Abaco, Abaco got international. I don't have international. Pratt plans to be very busy in his community to improve the conditions during his term. Julian Gibson, ZNS News. We love sharing your family island stories, so keep them coming. Email us at finews at ZNSBahamas.com.